After a crazy past week of college football, I want to introduce to you my top 25 rankings for week 9. Some noticeable things here is that Texas is back in the 4th spot, Oklahoma slid after a Kresak game to UCF, and after all of the controversy with Michigan, I decided to boot them out of the top 10. I also decided to keep Tennessee pretty high after their loss simply because I'm just tired of seeing Alabama in the rankings. Same with Georgia, but they'll still be receiving votes. And at my number 2 spot, I have Hawaii, as the Rainbow Warriors are currently at um, a respectable 2 and 6. Okay, if you haven't noticed this right now, there, this is not a college football top 25. You should have been expecting this if you clicked on this video. This is the top 25 seat in terms of maximum width with Alaska obviously leading the way, and a lot of other states right on its heels. However, there are a lot of surprises here, like Hawaii, Florida, or Oklahoma. What I did is I went to the most remote corner of every single state and tried to stretch an imaginary line as far as I could, while still being in that same state. And the results you just saw is what I found. But before you leave, let me go more in depth and answer every mystery on these states. In this list, and the states that are not even close to being on this list at all. First, I know that technically this is not width, but width just sounds a lot better than me trying to describe what this line coming through every single state is. I feel like that is just very understandable. Nevertheless, I'm also going to rate me about this in the comment section about this issue, but whatever. Now, here's the new map that I made for this video. The New England area is a little messy, but still very understandable. And try to catch a clip glance here before moving on. Now the link to this map is in the description if you would like to see it a little more. I separated each state into one of five tiers based on what I would call their max width. I've called these five tiers below, starting from largest to shortest distance, the start of flights tier, down to the day trip tier, then the mushy middle tier, then the few hours tier, and finally, the I can do this in an hour tier. I will start off with tier 5. I can do this in an hour. These states include districts of Columbia, Rhode Island, Delaware, Connecticut, New Jersey, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts in that order. All of these states are less than 200 miles wide. Disclaimer, you can't actually do this in an hour. I was kind of exaggerating there. However, it wouldn't take too much longer than that to cross the state if there is no water or traffic. And these states, traffic is a big problem. Like out here in our 51st spot. Yeah, I included DC. And with their traffic, despite it only being 14.1 miles wide, the time it would take to cross this city would be on par with a state in the top 10. You would spend day and night in gridlock traffic here. The actual smallest distance is in the state of Rhode Island. What is surprise, as it is also our smallest state. The problem here is that you would have to take a ferry from Block Island to truly cross the state. More examples of states in this tier include Connecticut being at 120 miles wide, and thankfully it doesn't take that long to cross New Jersey at 168 miles. Just joking. Next is tier 4, still only a few hours. These are all states over 200 but under 350 miles. These would actually take only a few hours to cross. All states included here are Maryland, West Virginia, South Carolina, Ohio, Arkansas, Maine, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Iowa, and Mississippi. The best examples include Maryland at 256 miles, mainly because of its odd shape. West Virginia is at 278 miles and is also expected here too. Although I wasn't initially sure if I should measure it up or down or side to side. After close examination, it was indeed side to side. A couple of surprises are in this tier too. States I thought would either be higher or lower, like Iowa at 344 miles, a state that is much larger than the rest of these, although it is barely in this tier, and Ohio at 301 miles, another state I honestly didn't think would be in this tier. But when you think about their square shape, it makes more sense. And also, in this tier we have a tie between Indiana and Maine. I always thought of myself as thinking that Maine is smaller because of it being next to other New England states, and not honestly looking that big itself. But in actuality, it is much more on par 
with states like Indiana. Also, Mississippi and Pennsylvania are slight surprises too, but they are also just barely in this tier. Next is tier 3, the Emoji Metal. The name really tells you everything. This is just my designated metal tier, with states between 350 and 450 miles, having Wisconsin, Alabama, Georgia, Illinois, Louisiana, Washington, North Dakota, New York, Kentucky, Utah, South Dakota, and Wyoming. Just a note, all of these are in that order, as all of the other states I list in a certain order. Some examples of states here are Georgia at 381 miles and New York at 417 miles, really stretching out because of Long Island. Surprises here include Louisiana at 401 miles, another state that really just looks smaller on the map. And also, I would have never initially guessed that Louisiana wouldn't be as long as Mississippi. It looks a lot closer with an initial eye test. What really makes this stretch out is the extremely large value of the Mississippi Delta. The other surprise is North Dakota at 409 miles. Who would have thought that this state, being a larger state, would be almost on par with Louisiana. Another state in this club is Washington at 404 miles and Wyoming at 449 miles, just barely in this tier. The second to last tier is the day trip tier. These are states that range from 450 to 550 miles. Here is where we really start to get to the big boys of this video. These states include Wyoming, Kansas, Missouri, Oregon, Colorado, Virginia, Minnesota, Arizona, Nebraska, Tennessee, North Carolina, Michigan, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. Here's a little more into some examples like North Carolina at 502 miles, New Mexico at 522 miles, Michigan at 512 miles, and Colorado at 467 miles. My thought were the largest prizes here were Oklahoma at 534 miles, which blew me away seeing how many other states it truly is larger than. And the same thing, but to a lesser extent, Nebraska at 498 miles. Also a reminder that if you like this video, support this young channel and subscribe. But more importantly, share your thoughts in the comments about anything but the audio. I want to build a community on this channel, so if you have any ideas, share them. And regarding the audio delivery, I'm trying, okay? I'm still a very young channel and I'm trying to improve on every video. And honestly, delivery is something that is kind of a weakness right now. So instead of saying your delivery sucks because thank you, I know, say something that helps you with delivery in similar situations, as I do want to provide the best quality content for you. Back to the video. The last 8 states are in the final tier which is start booking flights, because flying would probably be the best way, if not the only way, to cross these states. These states all span over 550 miles and would just take ages to cross. Number 8 is Nevada at 563 miles. It just helps that for most of that ride, you will be in the middle of nowhere. Number 7 is Idaho at 564 miles. Number 6 is Florida at 599 miles. Now here, Florida man could just ride his alligator across that span in mere moments. This one also surprised me a little too, but Florida is a very long peninsula with a very long panhandle. Number 5 is Montana at 630 miles. This was kind of expected. Number 4 is Texas at 806 miles, who isn't going to be happy that they got beat by number 3 California at 830 miles. Now for the biggest surprise of the video, and what a few of you may have even been waiting for, is number 2 Hawaii at 1606 miles. This line spans from the tip of the island of Hawaii all the way to Cure Atoll. I definitely said that wrong. Which is all the way past Midway Island, but this is technically under the jurisdiction of Hawaii. I triple checked this fact. This is the case. Solidifying Hawaii at number 2, which is actually closer to number 1 than number 3. But number 1 is surprise surprise Alaska. However, this line might have not been what you expected, as actually it barely touches the Alaska mainland. It starts near one of the islands in the southeast, all the way through the Aleutian Islands, to the island of Atu, another name I probably said wrong, which is a distance of 2,278 miles. If you made it this far, then thank you and try watching my other videos. 
like the top 12 college football rivalries. They give your very passionate opinion on why I'm wrong. I guess it is a very controversial subject. And I stand on the fact that Red River is a fact 4. There are 3 better rivalries. In my opinion. Anyway, if you like this map, then download it below. Thank you very much and stay crispy.